Hi, I'm the Magpie. And in this video, I am here with the Casio DM100, which is, I do believe, the only ever made Casio with a double keyboard setup. The double trouble Casio, which I can only describe as a sort of lo-fi masterpiece. Like, it's so interesting what they have done here, and I've also put up a sample pack on magpiestuff.com where I've sampled each and every single key in each and every single voice, upper and lower, and all of the drums. But uh, what I see as sort of the, and I don't know if it's its intended purpose, but yeah, where it really shines is when sampling, is not a real word, itself. Because you have this lower keyboard, with a ton of different lower tones. And then you have the upper keyboard, which is sort of like a SK-1, or according to a comment on one blog post, it's actually really hard to find any information about this one. It's like a stripped down SK-8. And I don't have an SK-8, not the regular version, but I do have the Casio SK-8A, which I intend to make a video on pretty soon, because this, this is maybe even more so interesting than the DM100. But yeah, in this video, we are going to check out what you can essentially do with it. But I also want to really show you where I believe it shines. And it's actually what I just started doing right off the bat when I got it. So you power it up. And I think a lot of modern gear could take a lesson from this. This is humongous, but it still works on batteries, which is just amazing for something like this. And then you have the lower keyboard. you know, generic, tacky, old school <laughs> synth tones that you can imagine on the lower keys. I actually uh, describe it as it being sort of a needle drop on the concept of the a hundred different tones type keyboards, the VA-10 or whatever, when you have so many, but it's like violin, viola, cello, cello ensemble, violin ensemble, and they all sound sort of the same. Here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times two. So you have 18 different tones for the lower keyboard. And then this button, which I will show you later. And essentially it's just picking <laughs> the perfect one from all of these different categories where you per usual have like 40. Oh yeah, some are really nice. And the speakers are also really, really nice. So what I started off just doing is going into sampler on the upper keyboard, making the sample long, and then sampling. You have an output here on the front but you also have a RCA output here, right next to the microphone input, if you don't wanna sample with the microphone here. So you can set it up so you can listen to it, but also sample it to itself, not with the speakers, but the speakers are definitely powerful enough to be picked up by this microphone, which is just glorious in regards to, if you wanna make these lo-fi. <laughs> we can set it in loop with the effect select and pressing loop and then it's gonna loop the sample Strong keyboard. <laughs> Let 
maybe even start some drums. have accompaniment so there we go That's where I really feel like I wanna just be forever. Doing a thing on the lower keyboard to be sampled on the upper keyboard and then doing stuff with that. And just playing around with these parameters that you yeah pick with the effect select. Just as we have on the SK8 also all of those functions. So it's nothing new. Same on the SK1 actually. So it's it's like a trimmed down sampler. Well, let's try sampling from the output also. I can show you how this sort of works. So you pick either the upper row or the lower row. That's about it. And you can even pick percussion. And you can go bass. Nice. Two different bass sounds. Piano. Harp harpsichord. Vibraphone. Jazz organ. Pipe organ. Brass ensemble. Flute. Chorus. Bells. Maybe my favorite. Percussion. Electric piano. Funky clavy. Jazz guitar. So nice, it, I repeat it twice. Organ. Accordion. Strings. Synth reed. Metallic sound. That's weird, that one goes left. Synth ensemble. What? The main difference between those two is that one of them goes left, because it's metallic. It's just how metal leans. And on the upper keyboard, we also have what I believe is sampled sounds, actually. So, piano, a vibraphone. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. It's kind of cool sounding, the guitar. Boom. That lower tone. But yeah, maybe doing, uh, I don't know. I don't know how lo long it samples. Okay, we select loop. Cool. And we can reverse it. Uh, took a while for it to load. I mean, that's nice! 
kind of. The drums leave a lot of uh, wishing to be wished, in my humble opinion, in regards to how they sound. But it's, it's kind of fun. It actually, in my opinion, kind of samples better, I'm noticing now, from the speakers to the microphone, rather than plugging it into itself. It's silly enough. But yeah. We have all of these to work with also, but I wanted to show you the 210 sound bank. Because the 210 sound bank orange button is really funny and silly when you read in the manual, because it's like a really long text in the manual explaining how advanced and amazing the technology is. But all it is, is that you, you pick a voice here. We can do jazz organ maybe. Okay, that's nice. And then I activate two cents, two cents hound horn bank, and I can just pick a second sound that is now activated on the orange button. And we just have both of the sounds at the same time. So I kind of need to pick two very different sounds. Maybe. Okay, that, that's a nice one. So nice. In a really silly, silly way. Ooh. Yeah, no, this is not me. And that's not how I identify. <laughs> but where I, I can just continue doing what I like to do many times. Nice. Sampling some higher notes instead. See that coming. <laughs> As you're probably noticing, I have realized the magic, at least for me. Combining all of what I am doing now, however silly it might seem, just sampling whatever, quite literally, from what's going on onto the upper keyboard, it's just glorious because it's all in one. It's like a groove box, <laughs> I guess. Like the fact that. You don't have to, to have two keyboards and set up this whole thing to sample one of them to the other, like many do with the Casio SK-1 or something like that. You can literally just fire it up, work some batteries, and start sampling the lower keyboard or the drum sounds or a silly accompaniment or whatever. <laughs> <laughs>